Friends, welcome to our homestead. You need to develop these nine crucial skills right now if you want to start homesteading. I believe these nine basic skills will get you a long way. Now there's little nuances on each one of these skills that I'm going to talk about, and there's kind of subcategories to them, but at a basic level, these nine are crucial. And that's in contrast to what you read out there if you're looking for what you need to know for homesteading. Now, I see articles all the time that say 120 skills, 143 skills, 150 skills, and half of them are totally not necessary. But I will talk about that later in the video. Let's get to those skills. Okay, the first one is animal husbandry. And of course, I got my ladies here, my chickens. These are essential for my homestead in that they produce a lot of manure for my garden. They produce eggs for our family. And they are great at keeping the bug population down. So chickens are probably one of the easiest animals to take care of, but you still have to study and acquire a good amount of knowledge to be able to raise them. With chickens, you need to understand how to feed them, how to house them, how to hatch them, if that's what you're going to do. And you need to understand how to keep them healthy and free of diseases. You also need to understand their behavior. I've got a huge playlist of chicken videos that you can click at the top of the screen and it goes over pretty much everything you need to know. The only video we don't have there yet is hatching chickens, but we will get to that soon. Now for each new animal, like these cattle behind me, you are going to need to acquire a little bit different set of skills. So in my opinion, the easiest thing to start with is those chickens. We are also working on another type of livestock, and that is honeybees. So within animal husbandry, you can see there are different skills needed for different livestocks. And with bees, there's quite a bit. The next skill you need to acquire knowledge of is basic carpentry. Because whether it's for you or your livestock, you're going to have to have some sort of shelter on your homestead. And if you're self-sufficient minded, you're going to build it yourself. We built this shed for our coop, and in another portion of it, we also have our solar equipment for our barn. But measuring cutting wood, putting it together with different types of fasteners, you're going to need to acquire that skill. And if you purchased a homestead with an older home on it like we did, you are going to need skills to be able to maintain it, especially when you've got to fix some stuff like we always do. And as you can see, those skills are gonna come in handy because I've gotta repair the roof here on the stable. The next skill you need to acquire is how to fell a tree. Now, whether that's with an ax or a chainsaw, it doesn't really matter, but you need to know how to stay safe. Because the worst thing, if you are out on a remote homestead, is getting injured and not having anybody else around, then you're in serious trouble. This is a really important skill, especially if you need to heat your house with wood or cook with wood. You gotta know how to get that tree down. You have to know how to bucket, which is cut it up into sections. You have to know how to split it and get seasoned firewood so that you can use it in your home. So like I said, with each one of these skills, there's a lot of little parts to it that you need to learn. And I'll also say though, that if you have powered equipment, like a chainsaw, you also have to have a backup hand tool for it. And you need to acquire both skills. You need to know how to run that chainsaw and you need to know how to use an ax. The next crucial skill that you have to have is growing food for your family. Similar to all the other skills, there are a lot of little small skills contained within the growing food for your family skill that you need to know. That is seed starting, soil management, pest management, getting water to them and irrigating properly, making compost so that you can make new soil. So, Focus on that, because if you're not growing food, then you're not eating, and then you are going to Walmart or the local grocery store to feed your family. And then that starts to defeat the purpose of homesteading and being self-sufficient, which is why this next skill is just as important as this. And that is preserving your own food. These are some pears of ours from our trees from a few years ago. If you are growing food for your family, you need to know how to save it, because you can't eat it all at the time that you're growing it. And then of course, during the winter time, you are going to need to eat from your food stores. Now there are many methods to preserving food and you are going to need to use the method that best fits you. 
And for us, we use all of them and we've learned how to do all of them because different foods perform better in different situations. And one of those methods is water bath canning. We do pears, tomatoes. We also do pressure canning of things that are low acid foods like green beans or peppers. We also vacuum seal. This is flour that we vacuum seal and this will stay good for years. And if you want to keep your food preserved for an extremely long period of time, the number one, the best way to do that is freeze drying. These are some pears from last year that we did and these will be good for about 25 years. Like with many of the skills that I'm talking about in today's video, we've done videos on those in the past. Click on this link right here, which is our entire playlist on how to freeze dry, how to can, how to dehydrate, all of it. The next crucial skill is how to start a fire, especially if you're going to heat your home with wood. It's just an all around basic skill that is incredibly important and useful in a lot of different situations. And if you don't have a lighter or you're not able to get one, make sure you have numerous other ways to be able to start the fire. You need backup matches. You need to know how to start the fire with a primitive skill like a bow drill. But before it comes down to that extreme, just stock up on a lot of lighters. Getting the proper amount of tinder, Arranging the wood properly so that it starts and lights really well is super important, especially if you don't have a lot of wood that's available to you. Probably the number one skill that you need to have is getting water for yourself because you can't survive more than three days without it. So whatever homestead you choose, hopefully it has several sources of water. We have a well on this property, but we've also added the rainwater tanks. I'd like to also add a pond in the future for yet another source of water. And it doesn't matter if you have fancy pumps or just a bucket to get your water. You need to have those water sources in place and know how to get that water from those sources. If you have a deep well, you need some sort of baler bucket that'll fit down the casing of your well so that you can draw water out of there in the event that your electricity is out and that pump is not working. For us, we do have a pump that will pump this water out, but if necessary, I can bypass that and just manually get water out of these rain tanks. If you rely on anything with an engine in it, whether it's a tractor or a chainsaw, you need to know basic mechanical skills on how to maintain those and keep them running. Now, technically, these are not off-grid items because you have to rely on somebody else to provide the fuel for them. Although you can make your own biodiesel for your tractor, but that would be incredibly difficult. So if you are relying on something like this to help produce food for your family, you need to know how to keep it running. Changing the oil, fixing any electrical problems, fixing any mechanical problems, it all is incorporated in that skill. Another extremely important skill to have is knowing how to take care of yourself. And that is learning first aid and medical skills, especially when using something like a chainsaw or doing heavy mechanics on a tractor. Know how to react in a situation if you get hurt. And you need to have the proper equipment around to be able to help you in that situation. So there are heavy bandages in here, Israeli bandages, there's a tourniquet. I've got a lot of stereo strips for deep, deep cuts. Learn how to clean out wounds, learn how to bandage them up, all of it because you're gonna need it. Beyond the first aid aspect of it, you need to learn how to stay healthy, to keep from getting sick. We use a lot of natural remedies here on our homestead. We grow a lot of garlic for its antibiotic properties. We use a lot of elderberry and other things. And we only get sick maybe once a year and it's really not that severe. So take care of yourself to begin with. So back to what I was talking about earlier in the video, and I wanted to address some of the lists of homesteading skills that are out there on some written blogs. I think they actually are a distraction from the core skills needed to be able to work out here. I think many of them were just trying to extend the length of their articles because some of them are hyper specific. And if you're cooking your own food for your family, then you don't need to dive down into deep detail like making pancakes from scratch, making meat stocks, or brewing your own drinks. Those are not essential core skills. So do not worry about, if you're reading those, do not worry about learning how to do those at first. Focus on the basics. 
Many of them bring up things like making your own laundry detergent. Well, that is really not an off-grid self-sufficient skill because you still need to buy the ingredients to make your own laundry detergent at a store somewhere. The only way you can make your own is from processing the roots of certain plants like the yucca plant, which has soap-like characteristics. It is possible to make your own also from a fat and lye. You can get lye from wood ash and you can get animal fat if you have that on your homestead. But to be able to do a seed oil or something like that, it's going to take a lot of crop to be able to produce the oil to make the soap. So friends, just look past all of those other unnecessary things and focus on what's important. I even saw one article that said, learn how to prospect for gold. What? No. Learn how to find water and food. That's more important. If this information was helpful for you, please subscribe to our channel. Now go click on this series of videos right here, which is our whole playlist on how we put in our rainwater collection system. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.